Ah! Okay. I don't like Romeo and Juliet because their love is shallow and not real. As a priest says, Romeo likes doting on women. He doesn't love women. He just, when he sees Juliet, he's like, she's pretty. We should be together forever. Yeah? Be together forever because she's pretty. Because she's pretty. And that's all they do. They just, like, compliment each other. They don't get real deep in their conversation. They don't get to know each other in the time that they know each other. And they only know each other for three days. I mean, is that really love? And Romeo was in love with Rosaline just before. Mm. Come on, guy. You're a bit fickle there. You were just in love with Rosaline. I'm supposed to believe you're in love with Juliet? Hmm. And maybe Juliet just sees him as a great alternative to being forced into marriage with some other guy, but still. I don't know what it was like back then, but she just met the guy and she's like, Oh, let's, yeah, marriage. Yay. Yay. Oh, and also, creepy, he doesn't even know her and he, like, follows her home on the first day he meets her. Like, if I saw someone standing at my, like, looking into my window at night after I just met them, I'd be a bit creeped out. Juliet doesn't care. She's like, oh, yay, you came and visited me. <laughs> How sweet of you. And the melodrama and the obsession and the immaturity of their relationship just kind of reminds me of going through my Facebook and seeing all the tweens breaking up and getting back together and breaking up and getting back together. That's not love. You don't fall in love with someone in a week and you definitely don't fall in love with someone in three days. I remember reading the book and liking, like, the two characters I liked the most were Mercutio and the priest because they actually seem to have some common sense. And Romeo and Juliet are nice, they're likeable, but they're so dumb. They are so dumb. I mean, I understand Juliet, why you would think you're in love with him. I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio, you're very pretty. You are very, very, very pretty. But you gotta stop finding these girls that just let you go. Rose, I'll never let you go. And then she does. And then Juliet, this Juliet, she just, she wakes up and she sees you picking up the poison. She's like, oh, so cute how he does that. And then you drink it and you die. You gotta stop getting involved with these girls that just let you die in front of them. If I just misled someone into thinking I had died, my I wouldn't be just staring dope at them like, yay, yay, he's here. I would probably try and explain myself. And the whole theme of Romeo and Juliet is that it's so tragic that these two families just couldn't get along. These wonderful star-crossed lovers could never be together because of their families. But it's overshadowed by the fact that the couple is stupid. And when your husband of three days kills himself, there are better things to do than just go, Oh yeah, I should die too because my life is nothing. Your life is all you have. You just can't give it away that easily. Guys, come on. Please, don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. I'm sick of people being dumb. When your life is crap, you fight. You don't off yourself. Romeo and Juliet. Shakespeare's Twilight. In my opinion, I'm sorry. Probably written better. I don't know. I don't even dislike Twilight that much. I just got sick of my friends talking about it. And that's not what this is about. Anyway, so my opinion? <laughs> no. And in as interesting and as quirky as this modernized approach was, it doesn't make up for the fact that I just don't like the story. Bye, LTA Movie Club! I hope to see you another time, and I hope to speak a little bit more eloquently about my opinions. And I hope to have better opinions. I must need to get better opinions and talk good, yes.